Hello and welcome back to Predator Concrete Jungle and we're gonna just go in straight away to uh, La Filme Filme yes indeed that was a wonderful ah <laughs> uh, yeah never mind you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this level right here it has to do with the Mafia in some way or another so let's just go ahead and start it oh my uh, yeah don't even get me started on my pronunciation Listen up! There's blood on the sidewalks and we got the mob on its knees. I say we go up there to the Don's place and we finish the job right here and now. Death to the Don! All right, so these sentry guns right here, you see these? Yeah, they can see through stealth, so I'm going to be very, very careful here. I really don't care about these mines either. The mines are really not that big a deal at all. They just literally drain all my energy, make me uncloak, but that is absolutely fine because it actually doesn't drain all the energy. It basically just makes it so that you can't cloak for a little bit and then you get your energy back at the end of it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting this guy. Yeah, we're going to be getting this guy because what we can do with him is we can grab him, take him over to one of these things. And that disables all of the mansion's defenses or uh, at the very least it disables all the, all the defenses in this particular area. So anyway, let's just go and do some damage to these guys, try and get them dead as fast as possible. We're just going to juggle them around a little bit and then he should be dead. There we go. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Okay, fantastic. Let's go stealth. Let's try and deal with this fellow once again. I, I personally feel like juggling is actually my favorite thing to do right now because you can literally just juggle and then finish them off on the ground and they basically cannot do anything. You can jump on them or you can just do a wonderful little execution. And if you want to, you can even do some, you know, wide arcing sweeps with your combi stick and then everything's going to be absolutely fine. But there you go. All of them are now dead and you don't have to worry about that box over there. That's basically just some sonic mines or something like that. Not entirely sure what's in there, but it's nothing important from what I can remember. Also, look at these things right here. These mines, just gonna just gonna trigger them. Doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, what's really really fun, by the way, which I I noticed is that oh I killed this guy. Okay, did not mean to do that. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we we it's fine it's fine because we can actually just murder these guys in the meantime. And uh, yeah, so anyway, what I noticed. Um, a long time ago, is that these sentry guns have an inherent weakness. You know what their weakness is? They can't aim upwards. They can only aim on a horizontal axis. So, in other words, as long as you jump, you can't take any damage. Yeah, you don't take any damage from them if you just jump. I'm actually thinking I'm going to heal myself right now. And what we're going to do is I'm very quickly going to just run over here and there's actually a reason for me running over here because there is I believe an upgrade on the roof so look at this if I just jump like so I take extremely little damage because the sentry guns cannot track me while I am jumping there is a greenhouse here you can obviously jump on that and then there is an upgrade on the roof I believe it is a spear gun upgrade I think it's a spear gun upgrade yeah, there we go. Not entirely sure what it does, but I can only assume it just increases its damage a little bit or uh, increases something about it. I don't know. It definitely, uh, as far as I'm aware, does not increase. These guys see through stealth anyway, so it doesn't matter whether I am seen by them or not. But um, yeah, I'm not sure if it increases the capacity or anything like that. So yeah, we're just going to continue walking on over here and then we'll get the lieutenant who has now respawned. And then we can just grab him, take him in here, and boom. When the prey fight amongst themselves, the cunning hunter will turn the situation to his own advantage. The battle machine that one gang had stolen from the police would make a useful battering ram 
to smash a way into the dance mansion, provided the defenders did not destroy it first. Unknown to the machine's pilot, a guardian now watched over her progress. How the fuck? Give me the hell out of this shit. I'm an elderly man, and the big fight's on TV in five minutes. We know how it ends. Gianelli takes a dive in the second. All right, so that's the guy that we got to kill in the mansion. That's the Don himself. And we also have to protect that, uh, that walker thing that is being piloted by that woman. So what we're going to do is we're very quickly going to run over here. I would like to murder this guy. I'm just going to shoot him with my spear gun. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go straight up here. These sentry guns don't pose any threat whatsoever anymore. So we're literally just going to go straight here gonna murder these guys this guy's got a rocket launcher get out of here thank you very much we do really do not want to mess around with this rocket launcher and otherwise I can just take these guys down without any issues whatsoever there we go let's try and get this guy there we are and then we can hopefully maybe grab him and we're just gonna kick him off uh, yeah see ya <laughs> uh, I love that I love that absolutely hilarious really really fun to do and oh he's still alive are you serious get get out of here there we go i jumped on him i dunked on him shall we say yeah we dunked on him super super hard and now hopefully i will be able to do a nice little juggle and can i just finish him off yep there we go now bear in mind that the uh the operator of the big the big uh the meg uh the mech thing right the big mech that actually doesn't care about me and it is going to kill me, if it can. So there you go. We were actually successful. And that's it. There you go. That was the level. Yeah, it's surprising, right? Yeah, it's pretty surprising. I think we did that in, in like, what? Four minutes? Five minutes or something like that? Uh, actually, six minutes. Oh, okay. I was I was a bit slow. All right. I'm not entirely sure. Usually, when, uh, when I used to play this, I was pretty fast on this one. But I apparently... Maybe I missed the weapon upgrade before? Because I don't... I'm not sure. I, I must have gone back and played this a huge amount, so I, I have no idea, but whatever the case, Death and the Family is the next one. The machine had served the devil's purpose, allowing entry to the land of its prey. Now this hall would prove to be the killing ground for both sides. Alright, so we have to recover my glaive, but obviously they're both, uh, well, they're fighting each other. So I'm just going to try and kill the robot first. That's what we got to do. I'm basically just spamming a light attack right now, making sure that we do as much damage as possible. Because it doesn't die in the same way that the other uh, police robot does, you see. You're going to have to be a little bit, um, you know, a little bit, uh, little bit careful about that. You've got to kind of uh, do a little bit of uh, rinse and repeat kind of action right here. So let's just jump on it once again. Oh, never mind. Okay, apparently I was unable to do so. Uh, can I do that? Can I do that? Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what's happening right now. There we go. Okay, fantastic. All right. Should be dead from this round of attacks, or at least I hope so. And then we will be able to focus on finding the Don. And hopefully we will be able to take him down in just a second oh it seems like wow she's actually still alive the robot is still alive that's really really crazy okay well whatever the case the don is up here so we can just very quickly kill him we've got an armor upgrade which is very very nice and i think this should be dead relatively soon so i think one more time i don't know why it can see me i have no idea why it can see me but apparently it can so let me just Jump on it once again. Come on. Get it dead. Get it dead. And then I can hopefully pick up my glaive. My glaive. I, I think the glaive weapon is actually one of my favorite weapons. If not my favorite weapon for the heavy attack. So with it, we're just going to retrieve that really fast. Going to get my uh, little, little sonic traps and, and the healing charge and all that wonderful stuff. And now we're going to have to deal with the um, pseudo boss. It's kind of like a It's kind of like a boss, I guess. 
And uh, we're just going to throw these traps at these guys. I have no idea what this even does, actually. I don't think I ever use these. But apparently it stuns them. It stuns them for a pretty considerable amount of time, which is actually pretty cool, in my opinion. Because that actually makes it possible for you to perform some executions. Really, really fun to do those. And we can just basically kill the rest of them as well. Super, super nice and easy. And uh, where is the uh, where's the boss, by the way? Because I, I don't think I see him at all. As far as I'm aware, it's the guy that was talking about fixing the fight in the in the second round or whatever it was. You know, it's the bodyguard of of the uh, of the Don. Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, why, why, what's what's actually going on with this fellow? He was literally taking a huge amount of time to come out here. All right. Well, yeah, okay, so here's the thing with this guy. I remember very vividly being stuck on this guy for a massive amount of time when I played this before. I had no idea what to do because he is immune to melee attacks. Yes, he's immune to melee attacks. So what do you do? You use your plasma caster. Oh, yeah, you use that. So I'm just going to spam plasma caster at him as much as I can. There you go. He's now dead and a nice little skull rip to finish. And there we have it, they're all strung up and we are now done with that level as well. Yeah, these levels just fall very, very quickly as you do them. And uh, I think the main the main thing that you're probably going to be doing, at least what I tend to do quite often, is literally just replay the level because I didn't find everything, you know what I mean? I literally just think to myself, hey, it would be fun to actually find everything that I can in this level because the levels are not that large they are pretty large for this era but obviously if you take into account you know open world games nowadays yeah no not really anyway let's go under the gun things are looking good the voodoo boys and fucking drug heads are gone and i heard someone took out old don giovanni's whole private island yeah with those pendejos gone there's a whole lot of business for those matadores to take care of hey it's gonna be the highlight for us from now on, eh, hey, amigos? Yeah, let's go! El Hongo saw the decimation of Neonopolis' other gangs as an opportunity. He did not realize it merely meant that he was next on the hit list. With his newfound wealth, he'd bought himself and his matadors exemption from the pre-dawn curfew that kept the normal citizens off the streets. But that just made it easier for the monster hunting him to stalk its new prey. Alright, so after that small little explanation, we're gonna have to uh, chase down El Hongo. That is what we gotta do. And uh, <laughs> let me tell you, this mission is not really that fun. Uh, I remember this being very, very difficult. But one thing you can do, I don't know whether you know this, maybe if you played the game before, when it, when it, you know, when it was still, you know, relevant or whatever, maybe you'd know what you'd have to do. But uh, generally, there's a way to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight up to this guy. This guy's a police officer, right? So what I can do is I can hopefully take him over here. And uh, we're, we're a bit against the timer right now as well, because there's actually a time limit. You need to make sure that you get to these points um, adequately. I hear King Willy didn't die along with his boys. So maybe some other servitor survived too. Keep your eyes open. Yeah, so we need to get to these points. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this police officer right here. And boom! Police cameras have now been disabled which is exactly what I wanted. So I'm actually just going to uh, switch to my spear gun here, shoot this fellow. Actually, I'm gonna just kill this guy. Oh, I threw him at him. Oh, that's hilarious. I had no idea that that was even possible. Okay, yeah, well, whatever the case, now the cameras have been disabled. And, we're, and by the way, the cameras are literally one of the worst things ever on this level. I remember many, many times being seen by a camera and thinking, can I please disable this? Yeah, baby, I'm gonna be taking over all the business in town. Stick with me, everything's gonna be just fine. And I couldn't work it out, and I could never find the the way to disable them. I didn't even know there was a way to disable them, but yeah, there is. And I just showed you how it, how it was done. You basically get a police officer, you take him to that little uh, optical scanning place, and boom, 
all the cameras are now disabled. So it's really, really easy to do this mission after that. Seems like this guy is now getting super paranoid because we are obviously following him. I'm actually going to just get some energy. I think I will probably need it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I remember struggling so hard with this originally because this camera right here would see me almost all the time because I'd have to jump on the roof and then jump down onto this marker. And it's really, really difficult to actually jump on the marker without getting detected by the camera before it, act, before it activates. But obviously it very much depends on whether you're just lucky to be honest anyway let's see if i can just jump around here can i actually just avoid getting seen by him please because he's actually right there if you didn't see he's right down there so i'm going to be very very quick just jump like so there we are okay i got the feeling one of those ghost suited voodoo assholes is after me i'm going up to the crib put the word out all right, so there we go. We got through to the next stage of the mission. We're going to need to go up here, around the side. There he is. He's right below us right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to jump up here. And there is a skylight. Quick, I ain't got much time. It's almost fucking with us. Warn the dealers to watch out for trouble. Sure thing, jefe. Los Maradores? They are here to stay. Don't you worry about nothing, okay? Hey, hey, it's me. Look, the boss just came in, okay? Looking real jumpy. It looks like someone's not happy we're taking over. So keep your eyes open. Anyone gives you any shit, you take them down, all right? Attention, all citizens. All right, so now this is technically, if you hadn't disabled all the cameras beforehand, this is where the cameras would now be disabled because the police curfew is now over and now this is when uh, El Hongo's dealers are now going to come out on the street and you can actually start assassinating them, basically. Um, yeah, so there's the, there's the little hint for you as well if you wanted to pick that up. Otherwise, I'm going to go over here because there's a very specific reason why I want to do this. These cars right here, they, they, they are a, a bonus objective. They are a bonus objective. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fire two spear guns. They are going to be destroyed from the two. And uh, then you can unlock a new costume, which is actually something really cool. I love the, I love the costumes in this game. And hopefully I'm going to be able to find the first dealer. I'm actually going to go for killing blows now. Ah, I think this is him right here. Yep, this is him right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try for an execution. Not sure if I can actually get that to work. Because here's the thing. If you get seen or if you get seen too much, it can be bad. Got him. Oh, that was a nice quick one as well. I like the uh, the quicker animations, especially in these kinds of situations, because I want to run away as soon as possible. And there are two other cars that we're going to have to find as well. I think I, I think I know where they are. I think I remember very specifically where one is at least. One is in the um, the car park that we were uh, that we came from basically when we first started the level. I, I don't know whether you saw that, but basically it was like straight ahead. This one right here. It was straight ahead from where we started and usually you would go straight in there and you go up and down to um, basically you go from the, the bottom to the top to try and uh, chase El Hongo. But I went around the side because I thought to myself, you know what, I'm not going to go in there because I, I know for a fact he had a bunch of guys in there. And I didn't really want to spook all of them and then uh, fail the mission and so on and so forth. So, yeah, it was pretty... Um, it's going to be pretty annoying otherwise. And there's the there's the other one. And now what we can do, I think there is... Uh, I think there's another one over here. There's the other one. So let me actually just see if I can do this. There we go. Alternate costume is now available. Fantastic. And there's also a dealer over in this direction too. And he seems to be kind of spooked. I'm going to get him. Whoa, we just, we just murdered him like no one's business. Okay, yeah, that was really nice and easy. I'm running out of energy, however, so this is going to be a little bit problematic. What we're going to have to do is go up here. I know, I, obviously, this is the same map that we were on before when we dealt with the 
servitors, uh, you know, their ghost suits and so on and so forth. And we also dealt with the, uh, the riot robot, uh, you know, things that were super creepy when you rip them open and things like that. Yeah, that was, um, that's the, that's the thing that we, that's the map that we're on at the moment. So otherwise, now we can just take our time. We've got a good amount of energy. We've not taken any damage. I can deal with these dealers relatively simply. And boom, there we go. There's a quick one once again. And all I need to do is find my way around. There's another camera. What? Why is there a camera on the floor right here? That is a weird place to put a, put a camera. Okay, well, whatever the case. <laughs> At least it's not working anymore. That's all I can say. And there's a dealer around here. Somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Okay, fantastic. I, I, I could swear that I actually killed this one already. Apparently not. Nice. Okay, we're going for a bit, a bit more of a longer one this time, and then one more. See now, what's really funny about this as well is that sometimes I've noticed this in my time playing the game so far, and it's kind of refreshed my memory that sometimes people, and I'm talking about enemies here, are really supernaturally good at dodging your spear gun. But there you go. We're done. But now the invisible demon's progress up the food chain of Neonopolis was to bring it face to face with a predator of a different sort, in the form of Bruno Borgia's granddaughter. The man who broke and tamed this city would have been so proud of my dear Lucretia. All right, and there we have it. Okay, so let's actually just take a quick look at our stats right there. We took just under 10 minutes, not too bad. And we also completed all of the um, all of the wonderful little things. All of the bonus missions and alternate costume. And then the next mission is skin trade. And then we have a bunch more. I seem to remember... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Which one do I like the most? I'm trying to think about which one I like the most. I think it is Sink the Shipment. I think that is my favorite mission in this entire game, but I could be I could be misremembering. I'm not entirely sure. Here is our new armor. This is ritual armor. This is what we look like. There we go. Looks pretty cool. What is it? What is different about this one in comparison to the concrete jungle one? Oh, I see. Yeah, it is pretty different. Okay. Yeah, I think I like the Dark Blade clan the most, but I could be wrong about that. I'm not entirely sure, but Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I do tend to like to, you know, make the episodes kind of, you know, do a couple of missions and then finish when one of them finishes because I don't want to start, start the next one and then have, you know, a, a super long mission that I have no idea what is actually even going on and then I'm just going to be like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> then it's going to go way, way too, uh, way, way too long. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.